Goddamn X-Wings shaped like an X when you have your S-Foils in attack position. There's no X in Arabesh. How does that make sense? All right, once these guys finish talking, we'll uh, get to the theory. Hello, it's Dan from Dan and Katie here. This is a theory that is most definitely true. I'm playing in a VR here, VR X-Wing mission, which is one of the greatest VR experiences ever. Anyway, the theory is concerning a certain character from the Star Wars universe that is universally loved. And why is the music on? Let me turn the music off. This is serious. No music. This theory can be supported by the way the films are being filmed and what has been said. You are not going to believe. Is that? Is that wiring upside? Let me just line up and I'll tell you the theory. If this theory isn't true, I will eat any Star Wars memorabilia. Han Solo is dead, but he's going to come back from the dead. There you go. Playing with no uh, head up display. Anyway, I will eat any Star Wars memorabilia, put in the comments below what I should eat if this theory is not true. That's how certain I am. I'll try and blow up the asteroid that he's going to crash into and never can. Right, the reasons behind why I think... Let's just uh, wait for these guys to finish talking. Okay, the reasons behind why I think Han Solo will come back from the dead. Many reasons. Number one. Disney can't just go killing off a main character from a beloved franchise such as Star Wars, even if they do own it. Oh, I just got hit. Now, you may think they can do what they want, but Star Wars is a fairy tale. It's a fantasy fairy tale, and it's got to end with a good ending, and that's going to be the good ending. Part of the good ending, that Han Solo is still alive. It's going to shock everyone. Harrison Ford is done with Han Solo, but the franchise is not done with Han Solo. And one of the reasons why is because the Solo film got made. If they were truly finished with him, they would leave him alone, but they are not. This is... I can't talk about the theory. Evidence to support this is, unfortunately, Carrie Fisher did die, but they said in the making of episode 9 that they're going to use um, unseen footage from the making of 7 and 8 to uh, piece together the parts that Carrie Fisher unfortunately now can't do because being the fact she's passed away. One of these footage, and I firmly believe this, is the return of Han Solo. However it gets brought back, that's that's up to someone else to decide. That's you know, that's the people that's writing the film. They're, they're the ones that are gonna decide how he's coming back. Whether he comes back by some kind of force power or whatever, time travel or whatever they introduce in episode nine, that's up to them. But he is coming back. And Harrison Ford has shot the footage already with Carrie Fisher. He shot it all the way back in 2014 or 13, whenever they filmed Force Awakens. And then he was done. He didn't want to do any more after that. He was... Shooting. Thank you. That's it. He, he's done with the franchise, but the footage... No, the Corvette's arrived. Oh, Star Destroyer. Nothing's working. Ah. Ah. Oh, God, that meant... Me. Patch me up, you son of a bitch. Harrison Ford has already shot the footage, and it's just waiting to be used in Episode 9. Now, there's some discussion whether Episode 9 is going to be split up into two films. I personally would like it to be split up into two films, not for milking the franchise, but for... Rounding it off to 10 films. I think that was brilliant. 10 episodes of Star Wars, right? Right, so whatever I was talking about, it, the footage is already filmed with him returning. He's going to return somehow. Either Kylo Ren's going to bring him back. I don't know how he's going to come back, but he is going to come back. The reasons behind this is, episode 9, Billy D. Williams is coming back as Lando Calrissian. Chewbacca. Oh, that guy's always in trouble. Chewbacca is already in the films. He's in the films. And Leia, Carrie Fisher... They're already using footage in the other films. They're already using footage from her in the other films. So the footage with her and Harrison Ford being shot will be near the end of Episode 9 or Episode 10. Lando Calrissian's going to be in it, Billy Dee Williams. Uh, the guy playing Chewbacca, I forgot his name, I'm sorry, but it's not... Oh, God, blew up. It's not Peter Mayhew anymore, but it is Chewbacca, so Chewbacca's in it. You have to end the Star Wars franchise with Han Solo alive. You cannot do it any other way. Luke's coming back for episode 9 as a force ghost or whatever he's coming back as because Mark Hamill hasn't finished with Star Wars yet. So Mark Hamill's coming back. That was probably always the plan. J.J. Abrams is directing the last Star Wars film, so he's the one that killed Han Solo in the episode 7, so he's going to bring him back for episode 9 and episode 10 if there is, in fact, two films going to be made, like split up. He's already filmed it. And for anyone that's saying, oh, what about episode um, 8, that pile of crap, 
Last Jedi uh, that Ryan Johnson directed. J.J. Abrams was a producer, so for any like discrepancies in the characters of either Kylo Ren for like, would it be him that brings back Han Solo? J.J. Abrams was a producer on that film, so there must have been some talk. So yeah, um, he is going to return. It's undoubtable that he's going to return. The evidence that they're going to use unseen footage from the other films of Carrie Fisher. Of course she's filmed that scene with Han Solo. That that scene of Han Solo returning already exists and Harrison Ford got out of there because he didn't want to be involved in Star Wars anymore, filming Star Wars. That's fair enough. But it, it already exists. You can't have Chewbacca, Leia, Lando, Luke and no bloody Han Solo. He's got to come back. It's, it's undoubtable. It's the rules of storytelling. It's... It just has to happen. You can't have it any other way. I'm getting the hell kicked out of me here. Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh. I'm sure I'll make uh, this more coherent in the uh, in the edited version of this uh, thing. But, yeah, Han Solo is definitely coming back. There's no doubt in my mind that he's coming back. And as I say, I will eat a piece of Star Wars memorabilia, a T-shirt or a hat. Or something Star Wars related if it's not true, but trust me, it is going to be true. I'm calling it right now. Han Solo's returning because there's just so much overwhelming behind-the-scenes evidence and the rules of storytelling. Oh, bloody hell. The rules of storytelling, that means he has to come back. And that, fit, that scene's already been shot. It already exists somewhere in the world. But JJ's keeping it under wraps for episode 9 and 10. Yo, I'm here. Near Yavin 4. Standing by, standing by mofo. And, and by the way, whoever owns the rights to make Star Wars games, I guess it's EA. That's just a guess. Um, could you please make a full-ass version of a VR Star Wars game like this? Or like, you know, what Skyrim does? Make a Jedi game or something Star Wars related in VR? Because this is absolutely amazing. The only thing is, I've played this mission so many times goddamn times that I just know it off by art. I need new VR experience with Star Wars. Maybe a TIE Fighter. Maybe flying the Falcon. Just there's so much endless stuff. I mean look at that. The sun's there. I just expected my hand to pop in front of my face. I've got my hand right in front of my face now because I was pointing at the sun and it didn't because it's that immersive. That it's just brilliant. Anyway that is my theory on Han Solo not well he is dead Han Solo is dead but he's 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 coming back right let's be traitorous and attack this uh, rebel transport god damn it Y wings why are you shaped like a Y when there's no Y in the Star Wars universe alphabet Arabesh <laughs>